Can a baby who was conceived through artificial insemination receive a brit milah on Shabbat if he was born on Shabbat? Now, this question was asked by a Maharat in Connecticut. And on the face of it, the answer should, of course, be yes. I mean, what would the reason to not do that? A baby born on Shabbat receives a brit milah on Shabbat. Why should it matter how the baby was conceived? And yet, there are some achronim, notably a position initially by Shlomo Zaman Orbach, that were not so certain about this. You see, the Gemara says that only a baby whose birth brings about tumat leida, the impurity of childbirth, can receive a brit milah on Shabbat. The verse says, Ishaki tazriyav yalda zachar, if a woman gives off seed and gives birth to a male, boy, infant, the tamashi yamim, she's impure for seven days, uvayom hashmini yimo besar lato, on the eighth day, and the rabbis say, even on Shabbat, you have a brit milah. So they say only if the first half of the verse is correct, only if she has tumat leida, does the baby receive a brit milah on Shabbat. Now, what is this coming to exclude? Well, the rabbis say that a baby born through cesarean section does not have tumat leida. And therefore, important halacha to know that if a baby is born by C-section, then there is no brit milah on Shabbat and morally no to ask this question. Well, says Rav Shlomo Zamador Bach, there is a Rabbeinu Hananel, a very early Rishon, who says that a baby born through semen that enters the woman's body, not through intercourse, which in the case of the Gemara was semen that was in a bathtub, leftover bath water, the Gemara understood that that was possible, then that baby would not have tumat leida. Says this based on no source. So says Rabbi Shlomo Zaman Orbach, based on this, there should not be a Brit Milah on Shabbat. Now, that's a highly questionable position. First of all, this is one opinion of Rabbeinu Hananel, not cited by anyone else, no source in the Gemara, and that we should all of a sudden come up with this new halacha that so many babies can't have a brit milah on Shabbat with no prior evidence seems like a very weak thread. And even Rabbi Shlomo Zaman Orbach reversed himself, partly because he said that nowadays it's so common that therefore one cannot really think that Halacha would treat this case differently. Also, one should say that it would put the parents in a completely uncomfortable situation uh, to not do the Brit Milah on Shabbat, and certainly not an uncommon situation nowadays. So the Halacha is completely consensus. As far as I know, nobody disagrees. Maybe there are a few, but nevertheless, we absolutely do a brit milah for a baby born on Shabbat, regardless of how that baby was conceived.